Prepare and inject 5 to 10 milliliters of local anesthesia into the skin and subdermal superficial muscle fascia at the penetration area to a maximum depth of approximately 40 millimeters. Note, injection should not exceed 10 milliliters of local anesthesia. Next, remove non-sterile gloves and don sterile gloves and gown. Place the sterile angiography drape with its window over the operational area to help ensure an aseptic procedure. Once the anesthetic has taken effect, make a skin incision of 5 millimeters for entry site using the disposable scalpel. Next, remove the spirotome set from the packaging and assemble the spirotome cannula and trocar. Insert the cannula and trocar through the superficial muscle fascia to the depth of the targeted muscle. Once the cannula is positioned, the trocar is removed and placed on the sterile utility drape of the working area. Insert the receiving needle into the cannula down to marker 1. On the spirotome, observe the marks on the receiving needle. Marker 1, the first large mark most distal to handle, indicates the starting position. Marker 2, the second large mark most proximal to the handle, indicates the full length of the helix in the tissue. The three smaller marks in between are five millimeters apart. With the receiving needle positioned at marker one and with the cannula being held stable, the receiving needle is turned clockwise into the targeted area to a maximal penetration of 20 millimeters. Holding the receiving needle steady, the sample is cut by turning the cannula clockwise over the helix of the receiving needle with a pushing movement until marker 1 is visible again. When completeness of the cutting is felt, the receiving needle can be removed for release of the sample. Note, the cannula can be left in place for additional samples. The helix is positioned over the teeth of the releasing element and the releasing element is folded and closed over the receiving needle. To free the sample, rotate the helix counterclockwise. Visually inspect the biopsy for quality and purity. Avoid fat and fascia or any white shiny tissue. Next, open the biopsy medium vial. Use proper aseptic technique when opening the biopsy medium vial